What's up guys, it's Matt again, and boys, it is finally time. It has been three long years since we have had a Treyarch release, and now they have spoiled us with another fantastic special edition game. Last time we had the Juggernaut edition, don't mind my scar there, I'm definitely demonetized now, haha. <laughs> but anyways, we had the Juggernaut edition. This year, they released the Mystery Box Edition. And if you don't know, the Mystery Box Edition is surrounded around the Voyage of Despair uh, 9, basically the Chaos Storyline uh, Mystery Box. It's not the classic wooden one, and it's not the one from Mob of the Dead or Blood of the Dead. It is the one from the new storyline. So, today, I'm going to be using this very weird melted plasticky Swiss army knife to unbox this with one hand and just spoiler I have already unboxed my PS4 one obviously it's downloading but we are gonna get started here I did get them for both consoles because I do love zombies that much and to get an idea the box itself I'd probably say weighs between 10 and 13 pounds and the whole package probably weighs, I don't know, it probably weighs close to 20, something like that. Um, it's a pretty heavy thing. I had to have my brother help me carry these out. I carried one, he carried one out of the game stop. I'm, I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to film, but I, I'm, I very rarely make real life videos, obviously. Half of you probably weren't even sure if I was white or not, but, oh yeah, let's use those feet. Whoops, okay, yeah. Ugh. Getting it, getting there, getting there. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's just a sleeve, just like the Juggernaut Edition. It's set up very similarly, and I'll show you how. On the side of the box, we have this teaser image that was shown um, before like anything was announced. And that's, that's obviously the mask from Nine, if you weren't aware, and that's the new zombies language that we have. Here we have the character Diego. It's, it's hard to tell on the video, but it's actually a really high quality image. Juggernaut Edition had the same thing on its sides. Uh, I want to say her name is Scarlet. I could be wrong. This is obviously our new crew. There's, once again, that. There's Bruno. And then on the bottom, I imagine there's going to be that crazy guy. Yeah, it's actually upside down. Um, sorry about that, but I'm not gonna turn this again, but that's that's a crazy guy whose name I can never remember. And uh, so we just have some pull tabs here. And I'm gonna lift this up. And off to the sides. Okay. So, we got some stuff in here, and I, at the end of the video, I will show how the mystery box works, uh, it functions and everything. It's powered by three uh, AA batteries, if you, if you didn't know. So, it basically comes in a giant plastic bag. And here we have lithographs, which, if you don't know, lithographs are basically just really high-quality posters. So, like, the letters are textured, some of the details are textured, um, and I believe they're for all maps. Uh, there's multiple in here. Uh, in fact, actually, I'll, I'll open this up. I, I did not open up the one for my PS4. I just have it out of the box, and since I have one hand, I am going to use my foot to hold this down. That is very sticky. I'm going to turn this upside down so it doesn't stick to my carpet. All right. So, oh, is that? Wait. It's not a, oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that was a funny sound. Okay, so here's Voyage of Despair. Here, I don't want to spoil what's underneath it. Oh, yeah, so if you can see, there's a sheen, like a shimmer to the letters there. It's textured on the back, which you can see. You can see all the detail, the detailed texturing in there. So it's basically, it's thick cardstock or, co or poster board. Um, Pretty good size. It's it's not huge, but it's something really nice, you know, if you have a smaller setup. 
and obviously the second one I kind of accidentally leaked here. Probably the craziest Zombies poster we've ever had, the one for nine. The way they did Scarlet in this image is, is really cool looking, I think. Um, so there's that, and this one has a little bit more detail to it, as you can see on the back. That's really the best way to tell, but that whole zombie hand and everything, and you can see it's got that shine to it as well. Oh, okay, so we don't actually have one for every map. Last one we have is the one for Blood of the Dead, and it looks like, okay, so, okay, so Takio's Katana has that texturing, you, you can't, you can't really see it, but that Blood of the Dead down there, that's textured and it has that shine to it. So we have, in order, we have Voyage of Despair 9 and Blood of the Dead. Lithographs, once again, basically just means it's high quality poster. I'm actually gonna get these framed, I think, uh, because I'm a huge fan of that. I think that's insanely cool. Next, um, oh yeah, so the next thing here we have is in my opinion, the dumbest thing that they've ever put in a special edition. Um, and this is coming from someone who's a very, very much a diehard Zombies fan. I've been playing this for eight years now. I've been playing Zombies for eight years. Um, why? <laughs> like, um, I don't know why. It's cool and all, but honestly... Let's let's weigh let's let's weigh this against the Juggernaut edition. What would you rather have? Perfect cola coasters made of like really nice rubber so that they don't ever have stains or or tears or anything, or a one thousand piece puzzle. I don't know, man. Anyways, these are just the batteries that come with this for the mystery box. Once again, I will I will demonstrate that. I'm actually not going to uh to be messing too much with the mystery box in here, but I will show you the one that I've already removed from my PlayStation. Um, obviously, you know, just random cardboard and styrofoam that I do have to remove and everything. This bag is really annoying. Okay, so here it is. Here's the mystery box. Um, just gonna grab by the head there and pull off. And it actually has a protective um, I guess, yeah, it's like a thin piece of styrofoam to cover. And then there's a tray in here. This is our game. I would actually, okay, this one has a seal on it. The one for PS4 did not. So you can see the steel book on, the, this is actually the front. It was on its back. The front here has our specialists, Black Ops 4 on the side. That's the zombies teaser image. And then Xbox seal thing. I don't know why that's on there. Next here, uh, we have this. It's literally the Black Ops 4 logo in a little sleeve. I believe there is basically the same design just with just with the Black Ops 3 logo for uh, the Juggernaut edition. And I accidentally just sat on top of the lid for the mystery box and I contained my pain. So I actually don't know what this is. Okay, it's the pop socket. So you can see it's got the classic uh, Black Ops, uh, you know, SOG kind of logo there with uh, the four for Black Ops 4. Um, I'm not gonna use it because my phone case is like, it's it has like too much texturing. But that's kind of cool. So it just comes in this little little envelope sort of thing here so we'll set this off to the side as well this uh okay so this is like a bigger version of that logo that we saw on the pop socket basically it says black ops has the four a little more detail and uh that's not oh i see so it's actually a oh these are the patches okay so that's cool so these are the these are the specialist patches fire break torque this one is turned for some reason. Oh, it's like, oh, I see how they're attached. They're they're like the iron-on style patches and they put a glue dot there. And so battery got a little turn. That's battery, Profit, Nomad, Ajax, Ruin. Oh, Ruins is really cool. Uh, Crash, Seraph, and Recon. So those are all the patches. Uh, quite honestly, I find this to also 
be a little bit useless. I don't mean to be critical. This isn't supposed to be a review, but I definitely think the Juggernaut Edition was cooler. Now this thing is actually pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I'm going to remove this, even though I have two. I don't know how what I'm gonna do with this, but um, I'm sure there are plenty of videos that are gonna be going over the content of this, but basically this is uh, number one of like the second season or series of, of zombies comic books featuring the chaos storyline. And we actually got this uh, image teased, uh, I wanna say over a month ago, and people are freaking out about the staff, thinking that was one of the origin, staff, uh, origin staffs before we actually had it confirmed that uh, this storyline is completely disconnected from uh, from that storyline and then I think this is a poster back here I yeah it looks like it's it's a lower quality kind of folded up poster so that probably wouldn't actually look very great on a wall but then actually as you can see that's it uh, one thing I would like to say about the mystery box here is look at the texturing this is textured it doesn't just look that way it's actually textured like that on the inside and then as you'll see when I demonstrate, these are actually lights. And so are these, but you'll see that in a minute here. So uh, real quick, I'm gonna cut the camera. I'm gonna put everything back in the box except for the game uh, because I'm gonna go and redeem that on my Xbox. And I will be back showing you the box and all its options. Uh, before I show you the mystery box, let me just point something out here. This is Black Ops 4. It's been in for it's been in for five or six minutes in my one. It has already um, surpassed my PlayStation 4's download by I think uh, more than five times. And this is gonna be ready to play probably within 30 minutes. Uh, including classified and everything else. Just just wanted to point that out. But anyways. Let us go right over here, past all my junk, to the mystery box. So, this is what it looks like. Um, I'd say it's probably about, I don't know, if that's about, that's probably about a foot there. So it's probably like about a foot, four inches, maybe a little longer, I don't know, I'm bad at gauging stuff. But anyways, there's the main skull up there. There's these skulls. Now the top part of this, does not actually receive any power. It's only the bottom part. The bottom part is what is doing all the work here. So I'm gonna try and bring the camera back a little bit, which is a little hard. I'm filming this on my iPhone. So there are two different on modes and then there's obviously off. This is the standard on mode. And it basically just goes on and on like that. But look at the colors, man. I'll, I'll turn the light off and show you that in a minute. But it actually has a sound for, for closing. So that's the closing sound. And then, uh, so there's actually another option here. I'm going to, once again, make use of my foot. Okay. So I believe, yes, that is the middle setting. And so real quick right here. We're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna turn it down a good amount. We're not gonna turn it completely off. Still want some light. But this is the cooler setting, in my opinion. And let me just say the camera really does not capture it. Get it from some angles here. You can see lighting that shows through these. I believe it's the same light that's actually showing this. Obviously, the skull's on all sides. Uh, it's a little hard to see on those, there you go. It's all the way around 360 degrees. Um, actually, is it 360 degrees? I had to brush up on my geometry because this is this is a, a rectangle. Are there 360 degrees in a rectangle? I don't know, someone tell me. But I actually decided, um, let me turn my light on real quick, all the way back. I actually decided I'm gonna keep all my Steelbook games in here. So this is actually my Xbox One Steelbook. Um, you actually know that because the disc is on this side instead of this side. And obviously it has the Xbox codes in it, which have already been redeemed. Um, so I'm actually going to keep my Steelbook games in here. And then maybe something else. I don't know. but So I'll have two copies of Black Ops 4 in here. I'll have two copies of Black Ops 3. I actually have... Uh, let me see if I can 
get through there without showing anything. And I don't want being shown. This this area is cluttered because I have my guitar stuff there and, and a random airsoft gun. Actually, another random airsoft gun. That's uh, my first Juggernaug mini fridge. I actually have two Juggernaug editions. Uh, quick story behind that. This one I pre-ordered. Um, I, I saw the E3 or Comic-Con event. I can't remember which one it was. I think it was Comic-Con. I pre-ordered that immediately. This, I actually bought two days after release for $220. Now, if you know anything about um, Juggernaug Edition, they only released one per console per GameStop. So for each GameStop, there was only one Xbox One and only one PlayStation 4. And that was it. So if you go on eBay and look up Juggernaug Edition... They're very expensive. Just the mini fridge alone can run you $500. I have in that PlayStation 4 one, which I have opened, I have an, un an unopened mini fridge within there. But I also have my PS4 Black Ops, uh, Black Ops 3 with all the codes and everything. So honestly, I think I'm gonna put that on my PS4, buy Zombie Chronicles on there, just so I have it on both systems because I already have 90% of what I need, you know? So, what's Zombie Chronicles in the end? Otherwise, it's literally just going to sit there forever. Hey guys, just at the end here, I just realized while editing this video that I did not include the pins that are included with the Mystery Box Edition. I'm really sorry about that, but trust me, you're really not missing out on much. Uh, if you really want to see them, I'm sure there's pictures somewhere, but you're really just not missing out. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like and consider subscribing for more Black Ops 4 Zombies content for the next several years.